just I just remember opening my eyes and seeing it like daylight. That's the way I say. When you open your eyes and you see like the fucking sun, you know, like, and you know you you just slept in. Yeah, hi, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. I didn't know you weren't going though. I thought it was just I thought all three of us were going to be there. No, I was never booked in. Oh, tomorrow I'll come back <laughs> and kick your back. <laughs> Here we go, welcome to another episode of the Back of the Class Podcast My name is Will, you know who it is, it's the Black Bear What's up baby, let's go Your dad's favourite barber <gasps> We got New Money, Mr. New Money What's up? On today's show we got a guest, he is star Shark Ford, Tor Samoa And former Kiwi, Brayden Hamanwele Whoop whoop yeah. Let's go, let's go how are you, also? Yeah, good, also. How are you? You're good. How's um? How's the body? How's um? Braden the player and Braden the person. Yeah, body's body's been better. Um, obviously, had that knee surgery. Um, before the final game against the Roosters, I missed out missed out on that one. Um, so getting through that, the off season was just um, yeah, rehab, making sure I did the right stuff, and then um. Me as a person, I'm I'm loving life at the moment. Eh? I'm really happy off the field, which I think um, translates into my training and attacking the rehab. So happy off the field, happy on the field. I mean, good on you, bro. Good Ads, on you. How are you, mate? How are ya? Can't complain. Alive and well. Yeah. Still fat. <laughs> 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 nah, all good. All good. Getting New Zealand on Thursday. Mmm. Oh, you're going to the Marae? Fuck off the kid. What? Broken no. Head Memorial. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh, oh, before we start it, I just want to say thanks to everyone for um, who cop shirts. Mm. Thank you very much. It's been, been pretty crazy, like considering all we used was a video and just everyone that's been following us. Um, I hadn't even been to a post office before to like send anything. 30 years old and never. <laughs> Bro, you remember when you used to go to the post office to um, pay your bills? You had to take the actual bill to the mm. post office. You remember that? Yeah. That's the only time I'd been in the post office. Gee, honestly, my, my parents still do that. My dad. Yeah. He still I does it to this day. He reckons like he he doesn't have like online banking. Yeah. Or none of that. Like if he wants to get money out, he'll go to the bank, take it out, go to the post office, pay his pay bills. Bill yeah, like that. Like he still does that. Yeah. That's the only time I'd been in the post office before. And now this week, I've been sending stuff all over. <laughs> Look at you go, eh? 2023. Oh, just sending stuff to like, you know, Colombia. <laughs> Usually it's stuff Come people in, sending eh? from <laughs> Colombia. Yeah. Lou. Yo. I think it's time for Pick Me Up of the Week. All right. All right, guys. I'll pick <laughs> me up for the week. It's something a little old, but um, but I don't know, man. This song always gets me going. Um, I hope it does for you too. Uh, Every day, yeah, yeah. yeah. As we draw close to the summertime, just let it take you. Shadows grow so long before my eyes, and they're moving across the page. Suddenly, the day turns into night. <laughs> From the city There's a day Cause your love Everybody sing Just won't away Yeah, yeah, yeah Oh, baby, I love your way Every day I hope your summertime body is ready, guys. If not, 2028, we'll, we'll try it again. Fuck. Mm. If uh, what today is 28th of November, we're what three days away from summer. So yeah, I've given up. You got three days. If you run for three days, you might be in some kind of shape. Braden, uh, tell us about your upbringing, your background. Yeah, so um, I was actually born here. I was born out of Blacktown, yeah. Um, in Blacktown? Yeah. 
mum and dad were living here at the time and dad had a work uh, had work and um I was um obviously conceived <laughs> in the, uh, the west of, of Sydney and um yeah moved back to New Zealand when oh, moved to New Zealand before I was one so New Zealand like Auckland's all I all I know pretty much um so grew up in West Auckland played for Glenora Bears or oh, first played for New Zealand Stags um at the age of 4 then had a couple of years at um Ponsonby uh where I played with actually I played with Tyler Nathan Wong she was in our team back then True. Uh, seven star yeah, yeah and Dragons player now so so she came um up with me in that team for a couple of years and then yeah played for Glenora for the rest and then had a year at Point Shiv and then you yeah, Point Shiv <laughs> how how did you end up I mean what was your path to like to NRL yeah it was um it was it started off you know the first sort of um taste of full time athlete was when trained with you mm. at um, Spartacade we were talking about before and um you know I didn't know you played NRL. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's the, it's the not really league. Yeah, so, uh, I swear he sussed this up before. He's like, bro, just say you played. <laughs> <laughs> I um, I actually don't play NRL by by choice. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're in like this academy thing called yeah. Spartacade. Yeah, and it was the like guy. a summer summer training, like sort of a preseason, but it was all different types of training. Nothing we had been familiar with. So that was my first sort of taste of full time training. Then had a stint with the Warriors development and that just didn't go well. Like I just, you know, things ha obviously happen and um, decisions on their part to, you know, not want to keep me around at that age w was made. And I just sort of said, you know what, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to focus on the Warriors um, development or anything like that or try to get there again. So I just went back and that was the year I went to Point Shiv. And um, that was under 17, I think. And then had a year at Point Shift, just focused solely on club footy. Um, got picked for the Auckland Provincial team. Had a, had a game down in Nelson, the South Island. And had a scout from the Roosters go there, watch the game, and then get in contact with my manager and um, went to the Roosters for a couple of years. True. Because mm. the academy thing that we played at, they they sold it to us like oh it's a roosters academy thing like the scouts are gonna be there that's how I thought you came oh yeah yeah they they it was like a they sold us this big picture eh? yeah and the, every NRL team will be at this game that yeah we played an academy game against the Warriors um the Warriors three hundred that came out to play that game and we only had about <laughs> twelve people <laughs> they wanted to roll out three hundred players but um yeah they reckon that all the all the scouts would be there and that and it was just our parents. <laughs> <laughs> he, he legit like it was we only had like maybe like 16 players eh? yeah. 16 17 players and they had three full-on teams so like you know good eye and how the offense runs off and the defense mm. runs on mm. like they, yeah they would pause the game and then the whole team would change did it feel Far mean up. it yeah. felt it felt like that was the first time i've ever felt fatigue yeah but like, did it feel mean like where is development like we're yeah. heading down your way and then you fucking turn around and beat them because <laughs> yeah, he's running did you yeah. guys beat him yeah. you beat yeah. him yeah, yeah. yeah. beat them yeah but we had, a, we had a stacked side. Uh, like, we had guys who went on to do well. Like, that's where I know Justin from, Justin Tuffer. That's, we trained with Justin there. Yeah. And Herman. 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 There. Um, um, this dude, Michael Young, he became, like, boxers he became now a boxer, as well. yeah. We had a couple of young dudes that were coming up that were, that, you know, just obviously didn't happen for them, but they were guns back in the day. Like, that was, <laughs> those were the guys. And, yeah, somehow we just... They're the guys that are, like, now we're drinking... Son, yeah. Yeah, I, that I used to smash that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it was it was good, yeah. And then um, come to Roosters for a year in SG Ball, couple years of twenties. Did you debut at Roosters? Nah, debuted NRL at Cowboys. Mm. Oh, I didn't really. Know you went yeah. to Cowboys. Yeah, I was up there for three years after the Roosters stint. Cause yeah, the, you up there with Lipa. Eh? Yeah, yeah, big leaps. Oh, Lipa. Yeah. yeah. So from the Roosters, I uh, so after the. First year of 20s, the coach was Paul Green at the time. Mm. And him and John Asiata were talking about, you know, obviously Paul Green knew that he was going to the Cowboys. And he was talking to John about a potential move up there. So I think he ended up signing when Paul Green signed there. And then I had one more year on my contract with Roosters. And then Paul Green, or something must have happened between us two. And then he got into contact with my manager. And then I ended up going there for three years. One year of 20s and then two years of NRL and then debuted in my last year there. 
Oh, that's me. Bro, it's hot up there, eh? Yeah, bro. Like, it's, uh, you go there and you think, oh, you know what? Looks like a nice summer. Should be sweet. You go off the plane. Oh, my days. Yeah, bro. Sweating. <laughs> yeah. Like, sweating. literally. Places, you like, between your toenails and shit. <laughs> it's like sweat yeah. everywhere, bro. Like, and there's a beach there. But you can't swim in it. Or you can now, but you couldn't swim in it back then because of all the jellyfish and the stingrays and that. Oh. That were on the beach. And there was, like, if you hear about a three-meter croc on the beach just chilling there, I'm not going near the beach. Yeah. yeah I don't, I don't, I don't was do that, that on the strand? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't mess with crocs. You know? So that place is just nice for nothing. Like, it's nice, but you can <laughs> just... Nice from, it's, it's nice, nice from your room. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's <laughs> very, very picturesque. Yeah. Oh. You can't go... Well, you can't do anything there, bro. It's that hot. Yeah. It was, it was a good experience, though, because I had no family up there whatsoever. Like, at least down here in Sydney, I have family out west. But up there, it was just basically me on my own. And it was a very big eye-opener for me about how to live in the real world by myself. Mm. Mm. What did you? What specifically did you learn? Fuck, I couldn't do it at first. Like, I couldn't live by myself at first. Um, but then, yeah, the, 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 the fact that you have to do it. Like, I had to do things on my own. And I had to... Learn how to, yeah, it forced yeah. me to grow up a bit. Like, it forced me to do stuff on my own that I wouldn't usually do in that. And it was just, I think it was, I, I don't think I took it, I, I think I took it for granted a little bit. I think I was up there and I sort of took the piss and I was playing Q Cup every every weekend in Mackay and then going out on the piss every week and not really sort of forgetting about the Cowboys as my job and that's my job and then doing it as a hobby type vibe. Mm. And, and that's probably where I lost the... The dr- I sort of lost the drive for it a bit and I lost the, the the club used to love me but then they sort of didn't after that sort of stuff. Did, 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 is there a welcome to first grade moment in your debut that you remember? Well, I remember my, I remember my debut game and it was against the Roosters and um, Zane Tedovano was playing for them at the time and he I uh, seen him put on some big hits. Yeah. And I don't know what it was, bro, but for some reason he just wanted to heat seeking missile me all the time I took the ball up and I was like, What the is this how it is? And then <laughs> like that was pretty solid, but then just the fact that it was just so fast. Like mm. my lungs were welcome to mm. NRL more than my body was. Like I was just <laughs> everyone's like, Talk, move, move. I'm like, I can't even breathe. <laughs> 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 just <laughs> <laughs> Like yeah, brain, yeah, yeah. The brain isn't communicating with the leg. Yeah. Like I can't. Like there's not enough oxygen. I need to get off. <laughs> Fuck. Especially if you're playing up there, eh? You're telling your house to run the ball, eh? Oh, <laughs> oh, pass, pass, Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. You're the one that. Uh, I was decoy man, but yeah. they hit you shortly. <laughs> Fuck, what? That was on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was the transition like going from your last year point shave to SG ball? Bro, that was um, you. You. Go from being a big fish in a small pond to mm. being a small fish in a big pond. Eh? Like you, you go from being, oh, like looked at it as, as that guy to coming in here and being just another player. Like yeah, yeah. You you don't like that's why I think New Zealand rugby league is so far behind here because of all the resources they have over here. Like you've got um, junior Panthers, junior Eels, junior Sharks, junior every NRL team. Whereas over there you've got Warriors and then you've got club footy. Mm, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, there's not that big jump, eh? Yeah, it's a massive jump. And coming over here was a rude awakening when I was just out of school, and I thought I knew rugby league, and I thought, you know, like very talent, um, very. I, I relied on my talent to get me where to where I was at that point, and I hadn't realized that talent got me there, but hard work is going to get me further. Mm. And I hadn't realized that until we were running for forty five minutes straight on the field, and I was. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> oh, race, yeah it's, the skills, it's, eh? Like, yeah, everyone's just so polished here. Like, yeah, because they've been doing yeah. it at such a young age, because you've been playing in the jerseys that you've looked up to since you were under 11s. Like, and over there, it's just like I'll play for Glenora under 15s. The only time we get together is like Auckland, yeah, or like you know, those teams, counties, yeah, the, rep, the rep teams, mm-hmm. and, yeah. and it's always the same teams in the final, yeah, like it's always Auckland and counties. And so, it's just like, but nowadays, I think. It's getting a bit better over there. Eh? Like Wellington are coming through. Yeah, Wellington, South Island, Canterbury is coming through in that. Mm. There, there was a school from South Island that made the um, Thomas? schoolboys Saint final. Thomas or is it Saint Thomas? Yeah, something like that. that. They yeah. won it, didn't they? Yeah, they, was, they, they took it out. Yeah, I, think I, they I knew mean, they were in the final. I think it was the first time like a non Auckland school took yeah. it out or something like that. That was, yeah. that was fucking me. True. Mm. What what's the big? What was the bigger jump for you going from twenties to reserve grade? Like uh, would have been 
Q Cup. Q Cup for you or Q Cup to first grade? Nah, I think it's 100% Q Cup to first grade A. Like, they're, they're always big jumps, but NRL is just a different beast, eh? Like, you think you, think you know the game again, and then you just get to NRL, and it's, it's faster. There's guys bigger than you. There's guys faster than you, stronger than you, more switched on, more fitter. And you've just got to be, like, you go... You go up, make a tackle, you're retreating, you turn around and you have no time because they're already there in front of you and you've got to make that tackle. And you just, if you lose one tackle in NRL, you're just chasing your tail the whole set. Mm. Whereas Q Cup, you can sort of make up for it a bit or New South Wales Cup, you can make up for that. But the margin of error in NRL is just so small. And people like the general public would just see, oh, that's a great run or oh, da da da. But the fact is that the defender lost that first tackle and then watched the set just snowball. Mm. And you can see it. You can see the momentum shift and. You can see us with hands on heads behind the try line. Looking, ah. Fuck. Try to hide him behind from the camera. Yeah. And he, and you, but you always see the captain spraying him too. Eh? Yeah. I bet you now, I know what he's saying now. It's from that first tackle. Yeah, we lost yeah, that first is. tackle. Can, is it like that? They, they yeah. can pick it. Yeah. They, like they, we we got to win that first tackle because then that's what happens. They pick it and then you're looking and then the worst thing is because you gonna you know you're going to look at it in video in a couple oh, of days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, ah, yeah. That, you just had to watch it on the big screen, eh? You know, you yeah. got to go to training and watch it again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's the worst day. The video is just. That's what I reckon that's what plays in people's heads when they play. They, they, mm. They're not so free. They're just like, oh, I'm not going to be in the video. Yeah. What's what's the biggest spray you've got? Um, has, it, has it been an NRL or a couple level? No, nah, it was probably NRL. Um, they didn't was, have to say the name if you. Nah, it was it was without. Because at the time, our coach got. Um, we had just lost our coach, John Morris. And it was, we went to, I think it might have been the year we went to Queensland for the COVID year, mm. or it might have been the year before. But anyway, we had an interim coach, um, and I thought I was right. You know, I thought I had a leg to stand on. <laughs> <laughs> so I go into him, go to his office, and I'm like, mate, like, what the, what the fuck's this? Like, I'm, I'm playing, like, 15 minutes, and then I'm, I'm good to go. Like, stop fucking taking me off. And I'm telling you to stop taking me off. And I was swearing, and I was saying all that. And then he goes... Well, if you didn't miss fucking 10 tackles, you'd be sweet. <laughs> <laughs> if you were playing well, I'd leave you on the field. I'm like, There's nothing. Uh, 15. 15. <laughs> Thank you for that 15. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'll take 10 if you want. <laughs> He's like, if you were playing better, I'd leave you on the field. And I'm like, <laughs> so I just sat there and I just looked at him and then he just carried on a bit and I was like, yeah, thank you, you're so right. <laughs> it's only 15, man. I thought if it was 40. <laughs> Did I say 15? I meant the whole half. <laughs> Fucking hell. True. Yeah, it was it was embarrassing because I thought I was, you know what, I'd be real confident here. Because you initiated that. I'll be that guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, I I'll initiate I'm going to give this kind of piece yeah. of my mind. <laughs> You know, he'll, this, this guy will respect me because I'm going to him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but what, what, was was there a bit of respect after that? Cause, nah, cause probably not. He probably looked at me and this dickhead. <laughs> and ever walk in my office like that again. Or you can hear it, your, your contract. <laughs> <laughs> was, was they undies? Or, man, that was that was that was the paper. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? So where'd you go after Cowboys? Is that you went straight to Sharks? Straight to Sharks. Yeah, been, been there for since? six years now. I think six years, man. That's mm. Fast fast. Flown by man I love it though I don't think There'll be anywhere else For me to be honest That's home mm. Yeah Up up eh Yeah Up and up so the Broncos You wanna <laughs> you, You're a part of that Premiership team Well the Sharks Yeah Nah I was The the year they won that That's when I Oh wait They won a 16 eh Yeah, yeah. 16 Yeah Nah so I came 17 Oh okay. yeah I, won, I came after The Cowboys had that mad run When they f um, Went to the grand final From 8th Oh and they yeah, just yeah, lost yeah. to Melbourne. Oh, yeah. they didn't lose, just lose, but they lost to Melbourne in the grand final. Wasn't that 17? Se 17. So that's yeah. the year yeah. I left Cowboys, and then I was starting 18, 18 preseason at Sharks. So talk about what you had to learn, you know, when you went to first grade, and it's like so fast. And how did you have to change like your perspective and approach to the game to make sure you're gonna become a day, a week in, week out NRL player? You just had to. It was for me. It was just the off-field stuff. Like I was training well, but probably wasn't eating the best, or I was probably on the piss too much, um, and I probably just wasn't taking it as serious away from footy. Like I thought, I'm an athlete at training. I'm I'm doing my job. Like you know, you don't bring your your work home. Mm. If you're in an actual, if you're in another job, you don't bring your work home. So I was like, oh, I'm in that mindset. Like home is my home, my safe space. I'll do whatever I want there. 
when I go to training, I'm at training. So I think that was a, a switch of it's like I'm always an athlete. I'm 24 mm. seven professional. Like this is my job 24 seven. I can't do anything like out of the ordinary if I want to be a professional NFL uh, NRL player. You know. So I think the change from just growing up mentally and and off the field was the biggest thing for me. Like technique stuff, you you learn that at training, but the acceptance of 24 seven mindset is the thing for me. It's true, eh? You reckon it just comes of age? Yeah, it comes of age as well, but like... Or like, was there something specific like where you had to like really knuckle down? Like, say you got to contract time and they're like, oh, we don't really have a contract and you had to like give yourself a, give yourself a like kick up the ass or something? To be honest, I think it was... So my debut, I probably wasn't the most... I wasn't in the best shape, I don't think. I was just playing Q Cup and on the piss and... and I had we had our Q Cup season had finished, so we were just you know the boys would would train in the week and go have a piss up that weren't playing NRL, and then all of a sudden I'm playing that week. I'm like oh, fuck, like so mean that I'm playing, but am I actually ready to handle NRL? Like is, have I put myself in a position to you know play well? Mm. And I don't think I had done that, and I had also don't think I had done that when I debuted for the Kiwis either. I feel like I had still let myself down of just getting that jersey, but not preparing myself to play well in it. Mm. So it was just, yeah. Bro, getting the jersey, man, that's like, what's that like? Like um, getting um, getting the call up for the Kiwis, bro? Yeah, that was mean. Like it was, it was something I'd always dreamed of mm. as a kid. Like you watch the All Blacks. Kids watch the All Blacks, want to be All Black. I never wanted to be an All Black. I never wanted to play rugby. I mm. wanted to be a, a Kiwi. That's weird, eh? Because I um, I was born there, but I grew up here, and what we think that everybody wants to play rugby, you know. what I mean, growing up, rugby was kind of like the thing. Like even here, like, and like I, I like league and that, but I guess I don't think like um that that anybody back back in New Zealand would would want anything else but to play for the All Blacks. I think out of Auckland, you you want to be All Black, but in Auckland and around that sort of places that have rugby league, they want to be a Kiwi. Mm. Yeah, that's true, eh? Because I feel like the the tide's turning now too, eh? Bro, hard. In, in like New Zealand, like I feel like league's becoming like the the thing now, the, eh? the sport to try and make. Because I was watching the World Cup final, and uh, the, the union? TMO, yeah, yeah. yeah, the TMO comes in for anything now. Oh, yeah. bro, yeah, it's like, weird, bro. Like they they stop. What was it? Who's try? Oh, Aaron Auburn? Smith. Yeah, but they went like seven months back to fucking yeah, stop even, it. Even the <laughs> Manu Samoa game against England. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, how do they kick the conversion and then go, go to kick off and then they're like, oh, bring it back from back. Yeah, like they uh-huh. kick the conversion, like leave it. Even yeah. even when you get red, um, yellow carded, you can up, get upgraded. They get yeah. upgraded. upgraded. Yeah. I'm like Adi today. Yeah, yeah Adi. Yeah. Oh. No, no, no. Sam Kane. Sam. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Got, oh yeah, he got yeah. upgraded. He got yeah, and, and then he, then he was just off. But then the South African captain does a similar thing, just stays at yellow. It's just like yeah, yeah, yeah. Union's like sort of like lost the plot, eh? Yeah. You know how like remember remember NRL a couple of years back there was the bring back the biff, mm. 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 like you know like it was just getting too soft. I think Union's like sort of like that now, eh? Yeah, I don't think NRL will ever get that get policed that much. Like yeah, no, the I bunker know. the bunker can come in, but like f- to go back three plays or f- five minutes, to yeah. s- like after a conversion. That's just ridiculous to me. Because I was always under the assumption that that's the rule. Once the conversion's taken, you don't. Yeah, it is. It is an NRL. because I seen a little screenshot in the in the rules, and like, someone put them up, and it's like, bro, how the hell is this? And it wasn't even from even from someone. It was like um, like somebody else. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. People it wasn't like they were hating. People call me a sook, but that's fucking bro, rules. Are rules. It's bro. always it's always <laughs> Manu Samo. <laughs> always. <laughs> what was that like to play Kiwis? Yeah, it was mean. It was, like I said, it was the um, something I looked up to when I was little to wear that black and white jersey and to play in front of my, oh, my dad was able to come over for the game um, and it was it was the best, one of the best things in my career. Again, I don't think I played my best at all, um, but, you know, it was, it was something special nonetheless. And to be in the mix, you know, that, uh, that says enough right there. And then you, you, last year you played for Samoa. Like you got injured in the first game, but what was that like? The two, the the contrast between the two camps. Yeah, I think it was. I think 
I look at this Torsamo team that um, I was privileged enough to play in, and being around those those players and and that culture, my culture, I think suited me a lot better. Um, mm. Like we had that little chat before the show. I loved my opportunity to play for the Kiwis, and I loved it. I, I took it with everything I had, and and I wanted to be, you know, I wanted to try and leave my mark on the Kiwis. I probably didn't, in my opinion, I probably didn't, but to be able to play for them was amazing for me. But I look at it now, and I think Tosa Amor is is where I belong. Mm. I don't see myself playing for another country um, because that's who that's part of me. You know, my dad's mm. full Samoan. I'm half Samoan, and whether I'm half, quarter, and eighth, I'll represent six eight five mm. till I die. Like I'm Samoan, man. Like that's I don't. I see it as if I was to verse Samoa and they were to do the Sivatau and I was to do the Haka or something like that. I don't, I, I don't, that doesn't feel right to me. Now, I'm not saying every other Samoan player should be like that. They have a right to choose who they play for. And if they want to play for the Kiwis, if they want to play for a, another part of who they are, then let them do it. Like, I don't, I don't understand why people are so angry about it. I guess mm. they, people are half, like, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm, Afghasi, like, I'm half Samoan, half English. But I lived in New Zealand for majority mm. of my life. Doesn't mean I don't disres- doesn't mean I I'm disrespecting New Zealand culture or Maori mm. culture. I love that stuff. I embrace it. I think it should be the key thing in New Zealand. But for me personally, I'm straight Samoan. Like I can I can't do I can't do the haka or I can't play for England and watch the Sivatel happen to me and then go play them and like it just doesn't sit right with me. So mm-hmm. I think like I will make if I was to make money from if I'm missing out on money for playing for Samoa. So be it. If I'm good enough, I'll make money in other teams. Mm. I'll make money from you know getting a better contract because I played well for Samoa. Mm. Like it's not it's not a money thing for me. It's just I want to represent who I am, my, my who my dad is, and you know that's that's the be all and end all. I don't like I'm not. There's no should be no hatred towards dudes that want to play for part of who they are. Mm. You know, like why is that why is that so bad? If just because boys don't want to play for Samoa, they want to play for someone else. That's cool to me. Like it's their choice. It's their right to choose. Mm. But um, you know, my little brother wants to play for England when he's when he's older. Yeah. Like two of us playing for different cultures. Like, I don't see anything wrong with that. Like that's yeah. my brother. Mm. That's my mum's. Co- that's my mum's side. Represent represent that if you want to. That, that, that's cool. I'm not gonna be disappointed in you because you don't play for Samoa. How cool would that be to m- match up against your brother yeah. if he was to play like for Bro, England and you? It would be. It would be one of. The, it would be. That would be the best. Um, piece of my career, I reckon. Mm. Either playing with him or playing against him. But I just hope he knows, like, I'm older brother. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say, who wins? <laughs> <laughs> and if he bumps me off or hits me, there's a lot of stick that I'm going to get. <laughs> mm. You know, because so, we already trained, <coughs> we trained together in preseason last year. And bro, the boys were already warned me, like, if he bump, if he gets you here, well, you're not going to hear the end, you're not going to hear the end of it. I hope you know that. And I was like, <laughs> so, it's the boys, yeah. Is he at the shots with you? Oh, he was. He did yeah. a preseason, but then um, he was meant to get a trial, but because he got suspended that year, they didn't let him trial. So, oh, mm. yeah, it was a bit unfortunate, but you know he's off to England next week, I think. So, good on yeah, him. Yeah. Mm. Good luck to you. It's funny when the little brother hits the older brother. Never happened. has it happened in your guys' family. <laughs> 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 just those words alone do you know what happened that's all we need to know just, just confirmed it in, in school I used to like pride myself on being like a mad line runner and I was like X, Y you know just cut and like hit me short and I was like yeah you hit me short here you know hit me short went through clean and as soon as I hit like the line I went to look around for my support and then I looked around and then Arden was there. He was just lazy. Yeah. He didn't come I up. Didn't, I the, didn't get off the line. He G. didn't come off the line. So I didn't even see him at the back. And then looked at him and went to run at him. Boom. Yeah, well, well, the coaches, yes, Arden. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nah, because you should have seen how they, they bro, these guys are fucked up. So it was it was the <coughs> league trial for school. But these guys put the sixth and seventh formers versus the nah. third and fourth formers. <laughs> nah, nah. What school? Westlake? No, yeah, Westlake. No, I didn't play. <coughs> no, I was playing for another school. Because they didn't let me play. Oh, yeah, yeah. They yeah. didn't let me play for our school because I wasn't playing rugby. Oh, yeah. Because you had to be playing in a rugby team to play in the league team. You know, this. You know, your brother, like rules. going back to how we played, how we did Spartacade, your brother was like the most professional one there, eh? 
<laughs> like he, nah. He'd always be in a bucket hat and he'd have like his gears boot bag and he'd be walking in like, full spider cake gear. And I'm like, ah, this guy's like, he must be NRL ready. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know, I remember because you guys had that little barbecue eh, at the end. Yeah. That's finished up. Yeah, yeah. I remember we came and they were like going through all the, like, the stats and that. Ain't. Willie. Just, Willie had like a 93% yeah. attendance. Eh? I was like, fuck. We didn't even go to school that much this time. <laughs> 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 you going to school today? Oh, I've been from training. <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna be a pretty big thing um, next couple of years. Uh, don't think I'll need that school thing. So now I just look after um, the my kids. <laughs> <laughs> what's uh, what's your highlight of your career being so far? Anyway, um, for my my personal one would be to have represented a couple countries um, to debut. And then the one where I feel most proud of for someone else's achievement was watching the World Cup, mm. watching Samoa get England mm. back and then going to do what they did. Because you saw it, man. You saw how proud our people were like around the world, eh? Like America were having parades. Right. Aussie were having parades. Look, I get goosebumps even thinking about it, like how cool that... I, got, I went to a parade in Henderson and got lifted up by these... Big boys. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be in the background because like, I was going, I was just going home from dinner and I was like, just in the background chilling, like uh, soaking it all in, like this is what our people can do. And then I just see one guy with a shirt off pointing at me from my car window. <laughs> so I put the visor down and try like see what I can do. He opens my door and they lift me up and then I'm just like, oh my days, these are strong men. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah, they lift me up and like, it was just like, this. I, I played 12 minutes in that game, but I'm, being treated like this, like a like, hero, yeah. Yeah. yeah, nah, that's mad, bro. Uh, no, nah, bro, I think that's some of like our happiest moments in our life, eh? Mm. That we'll remember for a long time, just mm. like that whole parade time. Um, I think Lou will remember it for different reasons. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. neighbors, the neighbors might not like that. <laughs> <of my> <laughs> They're the neighbors, eh? They're, they're waiting for us to stop drinking so we can turn the music <laughs> <Yeah>. off. <laughs> But music's still blaring 3 a.m. Man, fuck y'all, man. <laughs> Low lights. Low lights. Just getting injured all the time, eh? Like mm. I've been obviously I missed out on the game in Auckland. That would be my first time playing there. Um missed out on my hundredth game. That was supposed to be my hundredth game against the Roosters because of the, my knee. Um ruptured my pick last year. Like I've been through some pretty tough Injuries, and just to have to constantly come come back and bounce back, and yeah, that's been, that's been the hardest part of my. Because I think I've I've tallied it up. I think I've missed like at least a season and a half of mm. get worth of games Fuck, through wow. injury. So, yeah. Derek, Derek is because he run like a fucking lunatic, fucking <laughs> <laughs> like freight train, <laughs> <laughs> and just getting lazy, and then just swing my arm out and. <laughs> what? Fucking. What have you like had to teach yourself about like being injured? That you always come back like after the first couple, like I've, I've always bounced back, and and it, I've got a, I'm, I still do it now. Like I still do the whole, like why me? Why why does this mm. happen to me? You know, mm. and and my coach has been really good. Like he's he allows you to have like a couple of days of grieving to understand that okay, this is a shit card that you've been dealt. But don't be in there for too long because you'll just be stuck in there. Like, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, hard. yeah. He's 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 probably one of the best coaches I've ever had in my life. Like, he's he cares about the person, then he cares about the athlete. So I can talk to him about anything, whether it be on the field or off the field. But yeah, it just I just had to teach myself about shit things happen, and it's how we react to it and how we bounce back from it. Like, I can either go go to training, not want to be there. I um, miss out, miss shit on my rehab and train like an ass and then do it again. Or I can put my all into it, do my do my best to get it right and hopefully it doesn't happen again. Like injuries are going to happen, but I can put myself in a position where it'll be a little, it'll be a less of a chance to happen. Mm. And so I made changes off the field. Like I didn't, I probably had like one drink last season compared to going out every weekend. Like I had mm. to, I had to have a reason to drink and that was good. Um, cha changed um, my diet off off field, and you know maybe if I had done all that stuff, if Early. I had still been if I'd still been drinking, or like if I had still been drinking in that every weekend, 
would I have been able to come back and play a couple of games? Like, would I have handled the rehab better or, or worse? So I think I made good changes and I think it's going to pay me back, mm. you know, this mm. season. I think I had a surgery to make sure that my knee's healthy for long for the longevity of my career and I think it's, it, should, it should pay me back and I'm putting in the work to make sure that I come back for round one humming. Don't you, like, journal in that? Yeah, I do. I haven't done it in a while, um, which I, I really should start doing it again. But um, I used to just journal every day, write out, it could be like a page, two pages, one word, just how my day went, how I felt. Um, is it like a gratitude thing or? Gratitude. Or you just. Every now and then I'll like maybe do a, a gratitude, what I'm grateful for the week and set up my week about that. But it's mostly just about how I felt that day. Oh, okay. Because I feel like when, you know, when you go to sleep at night, all of a sudden your mind just running. Like you don't, oh, you're, not, mm. you're not tired anymore. Like mm. when you want to go to sleep, mm. but when you're up on TikTok or you're up watching TV, you're tired as, and you go put your head down and a million thoughts went through your head. So I just do it just to deflood my, my brain and so I can sleep well. And that's helped? It helped heaps, eh? Like just, just to stay level-headed with everything. That's mad. That's gunny. Yo. Worst, that's worst was that actually us. sounds like something I need to do. Because yeah. when I hit the... Bro, I recommend it. Like, like people, people get intimidated by it i reckon because they see that i write a lot in my journal mm. but it started off with like two sentences i could open a page and just write one word like it, it starts off like that and then you eventually get comfortable with it and you write more and more and more and like you know you, there's stuff on my instagram that i don't mind sharing about being vulnerable on it if it allows someone else to feel that way too because the last thing we need in this day and age is especially men and especially polynesian men that have never grown up around emotions yeah, and yeah, then, yeah. you know, they have never seen their dad cry unless someone had passed away or um, they lost a bet at the TAB, you know? Mm, yeah. So we need to make it a common thing around our culture, especially that... Like normalise it, eh? Normalise it, yeah. And it's not about you being soft or, or you know, or like anything like that. It's, if anything, it's strength. It's, it's strong to notice that you're not okay now. I need to talk or I need to do something about it and be proactive about it. Yeah, that's facts. Uh, yeah, because Royce was saying how you guys are um, doing your diplomas. Was it diplomas? Psychology? Yeah, diploma in counselling. Counselling. Yeah. Was, was your injuries, um, was, was, was it like to the, was it affecting your mental health to the point where you, that kind of kick-started that journey? Nah, so I had, I had been wanting to do something like that for ages, eh? Oh, okay. And I had done a few diplomas here and there, never stuck with it. But it wasn't until I did that where I was like, oh, this is actually mean. Like, yeah. I could actually do this for a job if I wanted to at the end of the, yeah, my career. Yeah. So I tried to get onto uni, and I tried to do uni and do a degree in um, psychological sciences. But, man, when you've been out of school for as long as I have and you try to go back to it, it's yeah. like, it's so... Learning to walk? Yeah. I'm like, oh, I don't know how to do this. I actually don't know how to write an, an, an essay or anything like that. Or I, It just wasn't for me, so I'm okay with my diploma. What kind of student were you? Man. That's all. That's all you need to say. <laughs> <laughs> that's all we needed. Uh, I was the one that just played rugby. <laughs> so uh, you, were you at the back of the class? Or <laughs> of course. <laughs> I'm so comfortable being here because I was the class clown. <laughs> probably was dry half the time. Well, yeah, I saw the meme that everyone's been sharing this week. Eh? It's like the guy's like tired ass driving, driving to work. It's like driving at uh, leaving for work at four a.m. because I wanted to be the class clown. <laughs> <laughs> that was honestly like oh, I'm such. A, I look back on it now. I'm like, bro, you've lot missed out on a lot of school that you could have actually done. Yeah. But uh, where you did you go? Where's you, li you live and you learn, don't you? Um, no, I went oh, to some, some people. Yeah, nah, you live and you <laughs> learn sometimes. Uh, I went to this Catholic school. Oh yeah, called yeah, Liston, yeah. and then went to Avondale. That was my last year at school. Then I came here. Ad. Ad. Yeah, I remember before you. Before you came here that year. Oh, the, the two years you were at Point Chef. The first year, under 15s? No, I was only there for 17s. Oh, 17s. Oh, mm. no, yeah, because you walked in with your tat, eh? And I was like, fucking look at this big gun. What the fuck? Bro, I thought my tat was going to... Bro, when I got that tat, there's a photo online. And uh, I think... I, I think I'm the man. Like, this is like Point Chef. <laughs> and I honestly, I honestly thought that that tattoo was going to change my life. <laughs> I was getting it out everywhere. I was going to, like... Yeah, I would make sure it was out everywhere. It's funny you can tell when somebody got their first tattoo. You it's can always, see that shit. There's a meme that's this this African American dude, and he's like the first tattoo, and he's like just pointing at everything. And then I got <laughs> it. my sister sent it to me a couple of years ago, and I was like, "Yeah, 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> get that shit offline now. <laughs> well, it's on there. Can't get it off. Eh? If you're if you're good enough at googling and scrolling, <laughs> you'll find it. I'm gonna find watch, it. Watch uh, this, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Were you at Glenora with Josh? Yep. So me and Josh played um basically all our junior league together except for that one year at Point Chev, pretty much. And the Josh Ali, yeah, yeah, yeah oh, true. In the early years, yeah. Do you remember when we played? <laughs> we played against Glenora the year this guy was at Chev. And Josh got the scr- um, ball off the back of a scrum and ran the length of the field untouched. <laughs> Gee, we're 30 seconds into the game. <laughs> Fuck, we're in for a long but day. Uh, nah, but to be honest, it was always a good day playing Northcote. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? It was just like a default. Like he didn't don't even have to don't even have to warm up this game, mate. <laughs> Gee, he didn't even play the first game. That's how fucking cru- cruisy it was. But they wouldn't thrash us. They would beat us, but you there know, were games where like, we're like, oh shit, we should have. Yeah, like fuck, Braden cunt. <laughs> Why didn't you we play? Should've, we should have turned up for this one. Is it um, one of those? Yeah, those ones eh, where you know you could have put fifty, but lucky they don't do mercy rule back home, eh? Yeah, no, you, like here you, they you do play, mercy rule. You play until you're crying after. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember <laughs> playing Papa Toy a couple of times, and that the always the nicest dudes on the field, eh? And you feel stink about how the end game, like the end result, happens. <laughs> Yeah, they were pretty bad, eh? But like, because we were refreshing him, and we weren't, and they were refreshing us. <laughs> so it's just, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, you know, they don't. I don't reckon Point Shift or Papa Toy have like a that age group anymore, eh? I think something needs to be done about those sorts of clubs that need to have players there, eh? Yeah. Like they're a foundation club, man. They, I reckon people should go back and play for them, especially in South Auckland, eh? Hard. There should be more than <laughs> enough kids to go and hard. Do you reckon they should have something where like you kind of like have, you kind of have to kind of play in a club in your area, kind of thing? Yeah, like I our schools here, like if they out of zone, in yeah, zone. yeah, kind of zone. Like you, you should that should be your first preference. I reckon mm. that, that they should have first pick at you. To be yeah, honest, yeah, yeah, because you've got guys playing. It's like you know Fox, Fox, which is like the A grade over there. They're paying pe- people to yeah. come from like different clubs to play, but mm. you know. Stacking a team, eh, Stacking and then, team and then and just then smack, smoking a whole comp. Yeah, mm. like, I don't know. It's different I'd if it's professional, but mm. I actually know because you shouldn't be paying. But them. that's why there's salary cap here. Yeah, like yeah. That's so that doesn't happen. Yeah. But I, I, do, I do agree that to a point where if you're from that area, you should get, they should fir- have first choice on you. Yeah. If you want to play. Because don't, don't you reckon it'll grow the game as well? 100%. Within like, you know, instead of having a full stack team versus pumping all these guys that, Eventually, just gonna be like, no, fuck this shit. Yeah, but actually, you know, learning runs him away from the game. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. Not enjoying this, like I, this is yeah. my Saturday, like, and you know. And your parents are like, the fuck, and I took the day off for this shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I come to fucking Saturday, and you waste my petrol. Yeah, <laughs> hard, eh? and I have to sit here the whole eighty, and it's, <laughs> it's raining twenty four seven in Auckland, and you've got me out here, no umbrella. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, in my my gum boots. Fuck yeah, let's do a, let's do a versus battle, eh? Mm-hmm. You probably haven't seen this, but we put old older songs against each other, and you guys gotta, you guys gotta vote. Um, oh, who, your your song, yeah. you're picking them. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll actually, I'll, I'll let you pick one in the next one. Yep. The first two songs. The first battle is. You're in my oh. car. I turn on the radio. I'm pulling you closer. First battle's gonna be good. Mm. I just went from six to midnight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the, that's the one here. 
Is that easy? Ah, uh, gee, have you seen the film clip? I know a lot. Do the dance. Huh? No, no, they're like out. I don't know. It's like you know, black, the black like lava sand where it's all black and shit. Black sand. Yeah, like black sand. <laughs> <laughs> that shit. Anyways, freaking. I remember. You remember when you were young and you used to record it on your video cassette tape? Yeah, for your I don't know. for your voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> we had the tape. The yeah, yeah, we had the tape, eh, and I was on my brother's tape. But the, but the clip is like him and a girl in, underneath the waterfall and shit, and they're crawling on the ground in the sand and shit. I remember my mum seeing it. She's like, "What the bloody hell is this?" <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, "Point straight at my brother." <laughs> <laughs> Pull the tape out, rip the shit up. Oh fuck it up. Anyways, let's get back to it. You only come back for more. Cause if it ain't good enough, good enough, baby. I'll work harder. Pumping every the minute, girl. And baby, I'll do you up, do you up, baby. Let's take a break. And I will not stop till I know your heart. Okay, we're well, taking number two. Yeah, number two. Good enough. I'm taking number two. Even though he he's a crackhead, no, you know I'll take a number two. <laughs> okay, we haven't done any girl songs, eh? Oh, like female artist, have we? I think we've done Whitney ones. Yeah, we did do Whitney and um, Mariah. Oh yeah, okay. I've got one. Use the Fantasia. I put your picture on my mirror. When somebody says your name Got a fade in like See you walk in my direction What's happening to me In the dark can you tell me what it means Nah I love Mele Hufanga I love Mele Hufanga G Stay for the Brisbane Broncos baby Let's get it leave the top Yeah she's gotta crop the top Versus Oh Ooh. Oh bruh <laughs> No one beats this bitch <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love me some J-Hard baby Yeah J-Hard eh? J-Hard all day j made me hard Is that easy? Nah I'm gonna go I'm gonna go Fantasia I'm Ooh. thinking Fantasia for sure You lost your marbles there on the field nah. uncle <laughs> <laughs> I'll get J-Hard to even it up. Anybody want some half of a half of a bee? Yeah, I know you liked it. You've been eyeing it out the whole time. Fucking Mele who fun the fuck? No, no, you gave me the rotten end. <laughs> nah, well, I wasn't planning to hand it over, but Kurt. you're fucking welcome, cunt. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I'm taking J-Hud. 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 I'll give it over to you. You pick your first song. You, Who do you want to battle? Out of you two. Hey, He's going to play a song, and then I'll let one of you two pick the... Pick the song and they'll go against it. Oh, is he not picking both? Oh, you want to pick both? I can pick both. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Before you start, you get one song that you have to listen to before every game to get you G'd up. Huh? What song are you picking? It's hard. 
hard question to answer. Mm. Thunder. Melehu <laughs> 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 That'd be something. It would be something like something mm. slow. Nah. It'll be. It'll start off sl- uh, fast, and then I have to go slow. Mm. Bring the heart rate back like, down, eh? Yeah. Mm. Sure. Bring it back to baseline. Is it from that far away? Don't worry, this is gonna be cut out. No, I don't starts, like. It starts off fast, and then it goes to. Oh. Ooh. Do you want to know a fun fact about this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Can never go wrong with Tevin I don't care if he's gay. I love the song. Is he? Yo, that's the fun fact. <laughs> that's the fun fact. Turn it up louder. Last night I I saw you standing. Pretty sure this was playing when I seen you one word at that time. In the main room or the side room? Nah, but the side room was at the gate, G. Hand up on the wall at this end. <laughs> Honest, babe, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. <laughs> stay with me, stay with me. Stay I'm this right now, but I got a first grade option. <laughs> <laughs> they said it, they said it. <laughs> and I dreamed of you ever since. Now I built up my Two girls, like, one cup. Uh, <laughs> 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 Alright, for next one. <laughs> hit, us, hit, one hit us, hit us, hit us. Staying on the same sort of vibe. Yeah, that's what we like that's to see. That's what we love. That's what we like to see. Uh, yeah. Any fun fact about this guy or what? Yeah. yeah, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he's not. He's not. He's not. He's not. Who <laughs> <laughs> just thinks everyone is dead? Bro. I swear he like said podcasters like, oh, talking about the late someone, someone. He's not even dead. Fuck, <laughs> what an instrument, eh? What is it? Saxophone. Oh. It's a clarinet. I think it's the bass guitar. <laughs> That's why Kenny G gets the bitches. Yeah, eh? right. Uh, Some of that sweet perfume. It sure is good on Is this what you listen to at, at, at the before games? That? Yeah, it has to. I have to do it because it calms me down a bit. Oh, yeah. yeah I get yeah. too raw up and just. Uh, Five minutes there, you fucking fuck. <laughs> Five minutes and. <laughs> Tonight will be a special night. Oh, mate, standing on a trial, I mean, my, my, my. <laughs> <We're fucked. laughs> my, my, my lungs. <laughs> you got me singing, my, 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 I think I'm gonna go for yeah, Sione. Sione. <laughs> I'll get seven. Seven? Yeah. Mm. yeah All we'll right, get, sweet. You guys get Sione, we'll get Devini. I'll go. Seven <laughs> <laughs> Titi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was like this song I just came across today. Not came across, but I heard it today, and I'm gonna battle it against. You see. All the times that you're in my parade. Yeah. Just a bit pop. In all the clubs you get just a bippy. Yeah, just a bippy. Can't go wrong with just a bippy. Right, this guy's actually a grand lady. Right, you girl, go, if you got four black dudes in the room singing that song, I'm crying. Uh, don't worry, yeah, bro. Well, I ain't. 
But that's like, do you know when you used to come to the barber shop? You walk past and you see for like four black ass, like big boys cutting hair, but they're listening to like fucking Britney Spears and shit. Yeah. Uh, but this chorus bumps to me. Yeah, bro. My mama don't like you and she likes everyone. And I never like to admit that I was wrong. <laughs> and I was so caught up my job. Didn't see what's going on, but now I know. I better sleep in on my own. Cause if you like the way you look that much, oh baby, you should go. I actually and thought love that was a song, but yeah. the bass in your voice. And if you think that I'm still holding oh, your drums, I thought it was part of the song. You should oh, go sorry. Call me Razel Gun. Razel. Ready? If your mama only knew. <laughs> yeah. Phew. Ozzy Legend. Oh. Wait, you want to know a fun fact about this one? Hit me. Go on, dude. I sung this at my primary school talent quiz. Go on, dude. Go on, dude. Go on, dude. I want to see receipt. Stop. Tell me hanging. Brayden. Nah, nah, nah. Play the instrumental. I can't remember the lyrics, though. I can't remember the lyrics, though, but he's got everything. Brayden's business, if you're watching. This was a wild time of my life, eh? I know the outfit I was wearing, too. Hit us. Cheese cutter. Oh! Oh! From my dad's wardrobe, <laughs> a button up, jeans, and these red shoes from Number One Shoe Warehouse. Hey. <laughs> or, shoes or? Nah, they were like sneakers. They're like you know those um, pumas, the, the racing pumas. Oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. That. I look like a fool up there. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Ronald McDonald caught up with his fucking shoes back. <laughs> All that to come second. <laughs> <laughs> what, the fuck? what would you tell us a story you fucking lost? <laughs> what a trend. My miracle. Brayden, sing the chorus, you have to. If you can see me, you know the answer to my prayer. It would be clear. Brought me here. I gotta rock, I gotta rock with Guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm with. I can't even remember the first one now. Who was it? Justin Bieber. I oh, know. Yeah, it's Guy. Who? Wait, <laughs> just for nostalgic reasons. Yeah. <laughs> well, the I'll guy that with, came first. I'll go with Guy. Played the triangle. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. So the guys that came first. Oh guys, yeah. Oh, that's fucking unfair. Yeah, it was, was. sweet and sour. Yeah, <laughs> 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 well, they were a dance crew. Do you remember? Oh, we're talking about a Tyler Hippie and that. Oh yeah, I think yeah. it was him. But his, uh, my cousin Connor and that, they all made a dance group and they won. And I was upset. That was the vibe then, eh? Yeah. Everyone looked at sweet and sour and was like, "No, nah, I can do those. <laughs> <laughs> I can run up my friend's back. Yeah, <laughs> I can do <laughs> flipping. I can straighten my hair. Yeah, <laughs> cover my eye. You did that, didn't you? Nah. <laughs> Lies. This guy, <laughs> you're a joke. You're a joke. <laughs> and uh, I, I didn't have a highlighter bag, so <laughs> fucking bright pink backpack, bright pink shoes, pin dropping everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Just cause they <laughs> cat daddy. <laughs> What's it called? Finish this off with some gospel, way. Eh? You guys won't like this battle. Don't don't judge Isn't me. It funny how out of nowhere. Life can bring us all to a pause. Morgan Freeman. But it's so comfortable, you know. <laughs> it's Eddie Murphy. God's love <laughs> us and covers us all in the trashes. I was in certain danger. Do Bro, do this beat drops so hard, eh? Caught in the crossfire of hope and Very hard. Thought I could be my own savior. But I'm singing All of a sudden now I ask for forgiveness or everything I said <laughs> Early in the pod Can the congregation please close their eyes <laughs> If you feel up to it today Can you please just raise your hand As the ushers pass by Raise your hand Raise your hand 
and we'll pray for you. And squat. Hey, <laughs> <Ay>, papi. <laughs> hey, man. To my enemy, love came from heaven to fight for me. When I am defenseless, you climb in the trenches, the trenches with me. The trenches, baby. <laughs> One five. <laughs> Faithful from the beginning You found my pain You have been where I've been And I hear you say (laughs) It is finished It is written We win in the end Heart under fire Facing defeat So close to Surrender to my enemy. The love came from heaven to fight for me. When I am defenseless, you climb in the trenches. The king of all the verses, Ray Dog. School one. I've been I'm taking CC. Yeah, give me CC. Yeah. CC's From pack of the chips. CC's <laughs> Mexican. <laughs> Until I lay my head, all oh, I will say. You like country music? Of the goodness of God. This is the song that they uh, use the bucket tape. Eh? Oh, You've got anything to give. <laughs> if you've just lost your job. <laughs> <laughs> the tithing bucket's coming around. <laughs> if you just lost your job, <laughs> it's because you didn't give anything last week. <laughs> it's the Lord's way of saying, please. Every that I There's an ATM away. outside. <laughs> if you lost your job, oh, I'm taking this week. <laughs> of God. I love your voice. You have led me through the fire. In darkest night. CC wins. CC wins. You are close like no other. Yeah. CC wins, bro. I've known you as a father. All right. To be honest, I think those two songs are the f- like the only worship songs I've actually listened to, apart from Oceans. Oh, mm. oh Ocean. and that's that's in my pregame playlist as well. So I think those two are gonna be checked in there as well now. So thank you for that. Welcome. Yeah, bro. Those are bangers, bro. Okay, I'll give you two more. I mean, one more battle. One more battle. Is it country? Yep. I fucking hate country battles. I fucking always feel guilty when I have to pick one. (laughs) Do you? (laughs) Yeah. Because you're a piece of shit. Oh. Almost heaven. West Virginia. Hey, what's old mate's name on? Um, have you seen the Kingsman? Yeah. <laughs> the saddest shit. Oh, yeah. When he's standing on the mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he starts singing the yeah. same. Life is old. Is it that Pommy movie? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Every time I hear this shit, I feel like we're about to do a workout. <laughs> Take me home to the place. I belong West Virginia Mountain Mama Gee, I always make these guys work out to these songs, eh? Country road It's not a bad workout song, to be honest Oh, bro, it just keeps you, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Steady state, yeah. steady state yeah. cardio Anything to fight the demons off in my head <laughs> with. Because if I'm, th- if I'm thinking about the song, I'm not thinking about the workout yeah. Everything wins But it's funny, though, like a minute into a workout, eh? You can't hear no music anyway. <laughs> Head noise, yeah. Teardrops in my eyes, country road. Take me home to the place I 
I belong, West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home, country road. Sorry, before oh, the last song, I just want to say thanks to uh, Braden for coming on. Sorry, thank you, uh, thank you as well. Thanks for having me. Drove an hour and a half. Yep. Because wow. Royce, Royce, you lied. <laughs> yeah, my car just um takes E10. <laughs> Royce, dollar seventy seven at the moment. <laughs> Costco, <laughs> Costco. Wait, I'll Puma, hook, ample. I'll, I'll, I'll hook you up with a sponsor car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the only catches uh, Royce gets to, to change the, the hood. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no. Any any advice before you go? Um, just on anything, whatever just, you feel um, like you want to see. Just stay true to who you are. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff going around in the world at the moment where people sort of lose who they are and forget about, you know, they get too trapped up into other people's opinions and that. Um, so, you know, opinions aren't truth. Everyone's entitled to one. doesn't make them right. So just be true to who you are. Uh, live your life the way you want to live it. And um, love is love and everybody love everybody. That's beautiful. Bars. Bars, my Brita. Right. Thanks, Thank Brayden, so again. Much. All good, all good. Our last song to take us out. Tell me about them good old days. What a trap. So, Mr. Cowboy over <laughs> Grandpa, please stop. <laughs> <laughs> Not my grandpa, he died. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> Take me back to yesterday. When the line.